Hey, what's up guys? Blake from Matt Kite here. Good to be back. Just recovering from a torn ACL surgery and just even being able to walk is so incredible. So figured why not teach you one of the most important things in my opinion in kiteboarding, which is how to fall. I have a lot of experience in falling. Uh, I've been injured a lot and you know throughout the years teaching myself how to kiteboard and do all of my own tricks I have had to learn how to fall through trial and error but now I've got it down where a lot of my injuries I haven't even fallen it's just due to previous injuries and not being strong enough so I'm really learning that if you're stronger it's better so you know going to the gym just doing some squats even body weight exercises to, as a preventative measure so that you don't get injured. The stronger your legs are and your body and your core and your neck are, the less likely you are to break something. So that's just one thing that I'm learning right now because I've never been a gym person, but it is good even if you don't go to the gym at your house, you know, do some extra um, exercises on top of just going out and being active and kiting because that'll prevent you from injuries where could have not happened if you were a little stronger. So that is something I'm learning as well right now through this uh, experience. But that's just one thing. There's many other tips to how to fall. And yeah, let's get into it. So number one thing, if you take anything away from this video is remember this. If you ever feel like you're gonna fall, get small. Uh, that's my key advice for any sport, any trick, even just tumbling on the ground. Um, if you ever feel like you're going to fall, get small so that you can roll out of it. If you're tall, then you're much more likely to fall. Because if you're tall, you have this leverage that's going to take you down and the crash is going to be harder. If you're small and compact, you can kind of roll out of it, get your body together, create a lower center of gravity. And that really helps, you know, just not take those hard impacts, hard falls that can injure you, set you on the sidelines. and. Uh, yeah, that's just it. If you ever feel like you're gonna fall, stay small. Secondly, you always wanna keep your kite above you. Once your kite goes down, that's gonna pull you with a lot of force into the water, hitting it harder and you know, water is a lot softer than other things, but still with that amount of force driving you down, uh, water can feel like concrete. So if your kite's above you, it'll always kind of lift you up and keep you floating down. Once you get a the kite going down below you and pulling you down. Obviously it's either easier said than done, but main thing is if you know you're gonna fall, just try and get that kite back up above your head. Because once you start pulling on that back hand and going around, it's very common in back rolls and as you're learning to jump, to pull too hard on the back hand so that you go one way and the kite goes the other and then you come crashing down. So most importantly, just remember to keep your kite above your head at, as much as you can and uh, just try and keep that above you so you float down rather than come down hot. Third thing is that you want to release the bar. If you know you're going down, obviously you try and keep it above you, but if you have it pulled in, you're gonna come down a lot harder. So once you hit the water, just push out on that bar. That way you're not coming down with all the force. So as you're coming down, hopefully you can keep the kite above your head, you get small, then right before impact, you push out on the bar so that it opens the kite to kind of soften the impact. If you have that pulled in, then the kite's gonna be powered up, pulling you harder into the water, which is then gonna make you fall harder, which doesn't feel so good. So just remember to push out on the bar as you come down, and that'll allow you to just soften the impact, like a parachute kind of like catching you as you're swinging down. And that's really important to do. Uh, you can always just let go of the bar and you know, cannonball. So just remember to do that, and that'll really help soften those landings. Number four is to kick the board off behind you. So you wanna kick the board off upwind. You feel like you're coming down hot, you're just gonna bring the kite above you, you know, release the bar, but still sometimes you can come down with so much force that you hit the water. And having that board with all of your weight on top of it creates a lot of impact. So if you just kick that board off behind you, then you can land and just pencil dive into the water or cannonball. Um, if you get small, then, you know, it's gonna soften the landing. Sometimes when you're coming down without the board, pencil diving's the best thing, uh, unless you're going into shallow water. 
then I would recommend keeping the board on just so that you don't sink into it. Um, you can kind of take the impact with the board. But again, as you fall, if you're straight and you're tall, then all of that impact's coming down. So as you come, you get small, so you can absorb the impacts and use your body and your knees as a shock. Whereas if you're standing tall, I think we've all probably had that happen where you come down and you hit and it's just a lot of impact on your spine and your neck and back and everything. So knees especially. So if you ever feel like you're gonna fall and you're coming down hot, as long as the water's deep, just kick that board off uh, upwind of you. Make sure you don't kick it off and have downwind because then you can get pulled into the board, which then can hurt you. Uh, whether you hit the board, the fins, the edge, you know, it's a hard object that you don't want to hit and crash onto. So just kick it upwind of you if possible and get rid of that thing so you can just focus on landing and preparing for a crash. And number five is just to always make sure once you're at the level of looping, uh, always get that loop fully around. Even if you know you're not going to make it, if you panic and you loop the kite and it goes down, uh, whether you're trying back rolls for the first time or you're jumping, you accidentally send it, you know, it's better to fully commit to a loop and have it go back up in the air than to do a loop halfway, create all that tension and then sheet out and stop. And then it's going to fully send you down to a really hard impact. So I know it's scary and it's pretty hard sometimes to fully commit. There's like a mental block where you try and commit, but it just doesn't. So, you know, just pull that bar in as hard as you can, hold it keep it so that it goes all the way around and then sheet out as it's going up to soften the landing if you're doing a loop. So those are just five things I thought about that, you know, in this time in my life here when I'm recovering from leg injury and I've had so many injuries over the years, uh, I wish someone would have taught me how to fall properly so that I wouldn't have had to go through all those, but grateful for it because now I've learned exactly how to fall properly and, you know, save myself some damage throughout the years and honestly it's probably the reason that I'm alive today is uh, knowing how to fall. So I hope this really helps you and uh, let me know how it goes. I will see you on the water or at the beach and then back on the water you know six to eight months. So looking forward to it. Grateful and happy for every day. Just amazing to be alive and uh, continue to be able to do the things that I love to do. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.